Here were Mark Scape. Scapey, that was quite a move your teammate put there on Murph. Well, that's a very, very fast corner, that one, you know, 300k corner, and, uh, and both very, very good drivers. That both of them gave themselves enough room to race, and uh, in the end, it was very, very close, but it was a very bold move, that one. I've got a piece of debris in my pocket, mate. How much for me to throw it over the wall? Exactly. Exactly what we need now is a safety car. All right, mate. Best of luck. There's certainly game is on, Lee. And Mike and DW, this is what Bathurst is all about. A four-time champion defending from a five-time winner. And guess what? They both got their first victory together here on the mountain inside the same car. Yeah, you know what? They're all wondering. Where are those dadgum kangaroos at? <laughs> Let's show you that pass once again for second place. This is forcing your way by, Mike. Got the run. You got to get up here. But watch these two cars as they go into this into this kink. That could have been big. That could have been disastrous. And we saw from outside how it just loaded the overloaded the suspension on Lyon's car. Well, you're going around that kink at 190 miles an hour. And you got a car beside of you, side drafting off of you. That makes both cars very ill, very hard to drive. But now, Lowndes is in clean air. And uh, his segment time, first sector, on this 148th lap was about two tenths quicker than Garth Tander. Second sector time, Lowndes about a tenth and a half slower. So he's not gaining any measurable ground on the leader, and he's only got 13 laps to work with. Yeah, he's got to hope that Tander would, uh, that the guards would run into some traffic, hold him up a little bit, or make a mistake. That's the only hope he's got. Jason Bright, under pressure from uh, Frosty Winterbottom. Here comes the Ford. Now, this is going to be a battle for fourth place right here. And Winterbottom is there. Bright's able to hold him off for the moment, but this is fourth place at stake. Mike, let's take another look at that pass because I don't think you realize just how treacherous this was right here. This is a big, bold move down into this corner. Both cars bottoming out. The cars bounce around a lot as you go around that little kink right there. That was huge. That's two great drivers giving each other a break. Absolutely. I'm a, I might say that Murphy gave Lowndes the break. A oh, better way to maybe sure. put it. to go and Winterbottom has not found a way past Jason Bright. That's Bright he's holding. I tell you Bright is he's driving he's really driving a great race uh, to be in fourth position right now holding off Winterbottom. Those cars are a little quicker than he is. It's all driving for him right now for Jason. Lounge now 5.6 seconds off the lead as of the last split. Yeah, kind of the, kind of the best thing you can hope for now for, for Lounge is, as you can see, a car bottom out and a little smoke fly off of the uh, splitter there every now and then. About the best thing he can hope for is not for him to make the mistake, and maybe Garth will back up to him somehow and he can have a shot at him. And the gap stays five and a half seconds. So Garth Tanner, Craig Lounge, both running pretty identical speeds. Murphy in third with 12 to go. Bright in fourth holding off Winterbottom. Now the Grand Prix of Japan is coming up and even though this race is going a little long you will see the Japanese Grand Prix in its entirety uh, after we conclude here from Bathurst. There's the gap right there. You just saw Tander go around and here comes Lounge right, right there. That's the gap but it's not closing. Now this is what uh, Lounge needs. He needs for Garth Tanner to get into some traffic, maybe. And that is Leanne Tander. And newborn baby girl. Lee? Mike, isn't it amazing the stories that motorsport gives us? Garth Tander was the 1997 Australian Formula Ford champion. He was so good 
but nobody would give him a ride. He was a mechanic for half a season until Gary Rogers in this field put him in a V8 supercar. He was so wild, he made Shane Van Gisbergen look conservative. Some of the veteran drivers wanted Garth banned from the sport because they said he was too erratic and too dangerous. Over the years, he crafted himself, polished his act, and look at him. He's a championship winning driver. He's on the verge of winning his third here at the mountain. Well, as a famous coroner once told me, it's a lot better to try to slow them down than it is to try to speed them up. And how many great drivers in, in my time and yours, Mike, and the guys in the pits have we heard? They're crowd, they're wild, they're crazy, they're gonna hurt somebody, and they turn out to be winning race car drivers and champions. Right. Mark Winterbottom still in pursuit of Jason Bright. This is for fourth place. I'm proud of my man. He's a, he's driving the wheels off of that eight car right now. Ten and a half laps to go. Down through the cutting. Dip and dive. And down you go. I don't, Mike, I don't know if we stressed enough the physical demands of this racetrack. The fighting you do with the car here, the shifting you do, the braking you do, you brake 13 times a lap. And you're running, a, these, these turns are high speed. They are tight and you have to be precise, but there are some high speed corners on this racetrack. We saw one driver earlier climb from his car with an injured wrist because of all the shifting. Wow. He's got a mirror full of winter bottom and Ten to go when he comes by. Yeah, it's just a, that's just all driver because the winter bottom is faster than Jason. Can't find a way around. I hope he doesn't lose patience with him. He's going to put a little bump on him right here. But uh, Jason gets off that pit straight turn there. First the corner a little bit better. Now they're 13 seconds behind the leader uh, with a little shot at the podium. So for bragging rights and championship points. Meanwhile, Greg Lowndes has picked up only one tenth of a second on Garth Tander. Scaife there, Lowndes co-driver. Wow, this just won't quit. Uh, these guys are going at each other, of course. Most of these guys have a lot of respect for Jason. He's a good guy. He races clean. That's a good team. Brad Kim Jones are good guys. They, they, they've been in this series a long time. And Winterbottom, he's a rising star. Uh, you know, this, this is a fellow with certain championship potential, and uh, he is carrying the flag for Ford today. Four Holdens at the front. A uh, great drive here. Well, you can see here, Jason can get down through these S's and the, and the corkscrew, what I call it, the dipper. Uh, they can get down through here a whole lot. He can get down through here with any of them. I can tell you that firsthand. There'll be nine to go at the line. As the fourth place battle continues and Bright opens up a little bit of daylight. I'm glad I, that's a good thing because the uh, winter bottom's a little quicker down the straight. It seemed like the Jason's car is. Jason seemed to be pretty quick through the, uh, the S's and particularly down into the dipper. Rusty Engel up for sixth in the uh, super cheap auto car. Shane Van Giesbergen for Ford up to seventh. Courtney for uh, Team Toll Holden in eighth. The Alberto in ninth. Steve Owen. VIP Pet Foods in 10. Boy, that, that looks a lot closer than four seconds to me. <laughs> Lee. Lee. Mike, Mike, you remember throughout the show we've been speaking with 23-year-old rookie Nick Perkat. Of course, he's teamed with Garth Tander. There's a little bit of history on the line here today. If he can get there in the end, along with Garth Tander, he will be the only other rookie to win besides Le Mans legend Jackie Ix. Wow, that's a rare company indeed. Nine laps to go, and the gap remains 5.1 seconds from Garth Tander to Craig Lowndes. Yeah, he's not making any headway. Uh, uh, Lowndes isn't. He's not uh, gaining on Tander a bit. The car's been, Tander's car's been flawless all day long. I mean, he hadn't put a wheel wrong this whole race. 
Matter of fact, he's been, it, it, the car looks almost conservative. He's not using the whole racetrack. He's not up on the curbs. It wasn't it their team that was showing a cording of the tires at the shoulder on the rear tires on the first pit stop? And that had to be cause for concern. Yeah, I think that was from that uh, buildup we saw, you know, in turn two there, particularly from the sealer that had been earned, or that had been put in the cracks uh, where the curbing met the asphalt. Just a nice smooth ride. That car's been solid. Got plenty of speed. And Lowndes takes another two tenth from Tander. It's down to 4.9. This is exactly what <gasps> eight laps to go and what happened man that's going to make a big difference in the i bet you uh, look how much that, that lounge closed up here on tender what was he thinking it was 4.9 seconds was the gap and it's down to 3.7 oh yeah now this is when you start looking in your rear, rear view mirror and when you start looking back you start slowing down Brake lockup, missed shift. What do you think? Uh, Brake lockup got him. It just messed up his rhythm getting in that turn. Just when I said he hadn't put a wheel wrong all day, he locks up. And here comes Greg Lowndes, winner of four of the last five. Look at the people on the fence. Look at everybody. And now look at Skates. He's saying he's there. He's going to get there. He might make it. Going for Lowndes six and Skates seventh victory. There's Ryan Walkinshaw. Owner of the lead car of Garth Tander, 3.7 is the difference, eight laps to go. It's going to be close. I think he might just make it. He might get there. It's going to be uh, another mistake like we just saw, and Craig Lowndes could be all over this guy. He's stalking him. I know that. driver Mike can erase this big and an erase this important you get down the end like this you've got a little bit of a cushion uh, but uh, you start to get a little too casual sometimes you think you got it in the bag and when you start thinking about not making mistakes and not concentrating on your driving you do something really something wrong like we saw with the lockup and you get in trouble Lowndes has taken another four tenths 3.4 is the gap Here's your leader. This is uh, where he had the lock up last lap. Let's see how it goes this time. Into the chase, slower car ahead. And now Lowndes has that whiff of the lead yes, that we talked does. about. Yes, he does. And he's got the whip out, too. And he is on a charge. Push it. Man, once you're, in, once you're like Greg Lowndes, when you're a driver, like Greg Lowndes, and you see the guy that you see him now, you know you've got a shot here. You're going to step it up even more. And Look in at, that segment, he took another four tenths from Tander. Look at Three that. Three seconds is the gap. Look at those eyes. He's not blinking an eye. Seven to go. 2.8. Lowndes is on the charge. Tander's going to need everything he's got to hold him off. There he goes. And, man, look at the gap, how it is shrinking every lap. And in the best tradition of Kevin Harvick, where did he come from? <laughs> yeah. Well, I kind of kind of think everybody knew where he, he was going to be in the hunt when the day was over with. But to make up a deficit of more than five seconds, wow. Lee. Hey, Mike, do you remember our storyline a little earlier about the rivalry? Well, there's not a Ford in sight. This is looking good for a Holden 1, 2, 3, perhaps. But then get down to that battle of who is going to be the best Holden team. Will it be Roland Dane's team, Vodafone, Triple Eight organization, or will it be the tall HRT organization? For Lowndes and Tanda, they've got nothing left to prove. They're both series champions. They're both Bathurst winners. This goes down to the simple racing passion of wanting to win, and particularly wanting to win on the mountain. Just think about this, Mike. you got Tander and Perkett, the two drivers of the car leading the race. Then you've got Lowndes and Skates. The, the, they, they, are, they are Bathurst. Yeah, 11 victories between them. They own this joint. They have 171 victories between the two of them. And he is on a tear. 2.6 seconds, six and a half laps to go. 
and he looks very comfortable. Mike.